This is a debt relief geezer again. I'm going to make this real quick as we discuss our debts and how to des destroy them. We refer to three categories just to frame our discussion. And type one includes credit cards or store revolving accounts and finance company non-vehicle loans. Finance company loans are for something other than cars and trucks. Then when we talk about type 2, we mean credit cards, store revolving accounts, finance company, non-vehicle loans, and then including vehicle loans, whether they are bank, credit union, or finance company loans. And type 3 is the whole thing, credit cards, store revolving accounts, non-vehicle finance company loans, car and truck loans, whether they're bank, credit union, or finance company, and mortgage, of course the mortgage, so it's type of 3 is the whole thing. With this extra fuel version of the debt destruction engine, type 1 debt credit card store revolving accounts and non-vehicle finance company loans can be destroyed in from 2 to 4 years. Type 2 debt was which includes a 3 we already just now mentioned plus vehicle loans, whether they are a credit union, bank, or finance company. Altogether, those, those can be destroyed in from three to five years. And type three, which is everything, including the mortgage, can be destroyed in from five to ten years using the extra, extra fuel version of the debt destruction engine. Please don't be discouraged by the 10 years. There are things you can do that, to uh, cut the time down considerably. Uh, now, I want to discuss the seven bills we looked at in the previous video. At, we had seven accounts, three credit card, two store revolving accounts, and two finance company accounts. And the thing about finance company accounts is that you pay the same amount each month. The required payment is the same amount. Whether the balance goes down or not tell, tell you what the account out. But the credit card and store revolving accounts are different. So unless they play a trick on, trick on you like uh, changing the limit or increasing the interest, the amount you pay goes down slightly if you don't add anything, if, if you don't charge anything additional to the, to the account. The balance goes down and the required minimum paying, payment goes down just by the tiniest little amount. So what, let's say you looked at your seven accounts that are illustrated, that were illustrated in the previous video, and you total up the payments due and it came to $1,000. And you managed not to charge anything additional. You come to the second month and because the credit card 
payments due and the store revolving account payments due went down just slightly you total the, the amount that you owe for all seven accounts and let's say it comes to nine hundred ninety dollars what if you su subtracted the nine ninety from the one thousand that leaves ten you pay the minimum required payment of bills two through bills seven then on bill one you pay the minimum required payment plus ten plus the ten dollars you take you're taking a block payment and you're paying the same block payment every month to the same bills this is hard to do because you're already oppressed by debt and then here you are paying the same amount every month but you you do that all the way through until you pay off all seven accounts let's so in, in the third month, you total up all seven accounts, of, let's say it comes to $979. You subtract that from a thousand, that leaves $21. So you pay the minimum required payments of bills two through bill seven. And in bill one, you pay the min minimum required payment plus $21 then you continue to apply that same block payment all the way through until you destroy all seven accounts this is called inherent momentum which which we will look at in the next video which will be another of those text only videos so please join me again as we can continue to figure out how to, how to destroy our debts with the debt destruction engine.